Hello and welcome to a new episode. A few weeks ago, I fit, it's in a way in the philosophy and the logic of the action that something will not change, so why shall you try to change it? Or anything is meaningless, it will always go back. For example, when slave masters say, slavery is one fundamental aspect of society. Homons letters on slavery in some words. Or when people who eat meat dairy and eggs say people have always eaten meat so why bother to encourage people to stop this is absolutely not true people have not always eaten meat before cooking there was no meat eating animal meat eating it's also a false But according to that same logic, we also should not in, uh, stop people from raping others. Because the, the raping is also something that, a pe that people have done since the earliest of time. Most likely. And you can also say then child abuse is also okay and we don't have to try to stop that. The reason I say this, because these are all examples used by different people of the appeal to utility. Can also be used by Nazis who lived in Germany, how they would work in the concentration camps, and how know what is happening in the concentration camps. Say, you can fight to it, but it is just futile. It will happen again. So why try to stop the Holocaust, or why try to protect Jews? Nazis will get them as well. And maybe I come also in the concentration camp if I help them. So, like Einstein once have said, this world is a dangerous place. Not because of the people who are pure evil, but because of the people who refuse to do something about the evil. And that are a mess. Stop out of your comfort zone. Like Martin Luther King wants to say, there will come one day that you have to take a position that is neither safe, neither political correct, or popular. But you can't just say that it is right. And then you have to stand for it. Like Frederick Douglass wants to say, you don't have rain without thunder and lightning. It have nothing be and will nothing be. Being the change. It seems maybe that people don't want to change their despicable paths. Sadly enough, for the victims, it is bittersweet, but all through have to pass the three stages, sadly. First, it is mocked and ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. Last, it is accepted as so Prove that you are not a monster. 
go vegan. And try to help to stop systematic oppression and exploitation by the roots. As long as we don't destroy species, we will not destroy any other form of discrimination. We will not destroy racism, we don't will destroy sexism, and we will nothing, and I repeat nothing, destroy classism and all the other discrimination and all ideologies. The path to peace must go to veganism. People awake when darkness or light become one, the reality is split away and it will become invisible. Veganism and give people actually a chance to do something instead of putting more cement, good intentions to pay that road to hell.